Hello everybody, um, welcome to the Lally College virtual open event. I'm delighted you've um, taken the time to come and join us and I hope that um, we will see you uh, in due course attending the college on a number of the different courses we have and uh, I'm going to take you through this presentation today. I believe there's opportunities for you to ask questions from my colleagues who are in the background. I'm kindly supported by colleague Fiona who's going to help me um, and you can ask questions through that and also you'll be able to get lots of advice as we proceed see through the evening. In addition, there's a live chat later with a number of staff. Um, so whether you wanted to do engineering or whether it was sport is your passion, we've got colleagues all available this evening for a live chat to talk to you. So I, um, I look forward to meeting you electronically first. However, um, in the real life world, um, hopefully later at the college. So um, I'm going to go through the presentation. Um, you can see the first sheet there, which is one of our students here. Um, my name is Kevin McCook, and um, I'm just going to page down so you can see that. There we are. Um, that's me, and you'll see on my PowerPoint it mentions my colleague Hannah Jackson, who unfortunately is able to join me this evening. However, both Hannah and I oversee um, Langley Colleges in terms of direct, so we look after um, the all the curriculum at the college. And therefore, you know, whether you were going to engineering or to sport, you might be either of us too. Um, so I look forward as we progress through. Um, and please just remember that you can ask my colleague Fiona any questions. And um, if there's anything you're unsure about, you've obviously got the live chat later. So uh, I'm going to work through. So once again, my name is Kevin Cook. My colleague Fiona is helping. And welcome to our Langley College virtual open event. OK, so what, what do we want at, uh, what are we about? What do we want at Langley College? So our ambition or our mission is to inspire ambition and make positive, a positive difference to life through learning. One of the most powerful gifts you can have is education. And the advantage, I mean, for example, in the UK is, is that lots of that is free. Um, there's no one better guarantee to make a change in your career aspirations or where you want to progress in life than education. And it's really important. Um, and we hold that dearest to our heart. Now, you'll see there are a list of things that we work towards um, and where we try and make so We So we place you, for example, at the heart of all we do. So that's where we have the term learners first. Um, work with the community. We work collaboratively, collaboratively, sorry, to help you achieve your, you know, your goal. So that might be, for example, you might be working if you were in the public services area. You might be, for example, working with the local army and or the Salvation Army, for example. So those where we use industry to work with us. So we have examples where we've got young people doing an apprenticeship could be in something like hairdressing or motor vehicle. So we continually work in a partnership with all of the employers, the student and college to try and ensure you achieve your ambitions when you can hear. Um, empowering. So that's really where we want you all in a caring environment. So be safe within the college. There's a lots of Areas where not only will you can you be educated, but obviously you can eat, you can relax, you can learn outside of the classroom, um, you can play sports, you can join in lots of things like our student union. Um, but we want you to gain the best you can and achieve your full potential. So what does that mean? So yes, you could come on a course here. You might want to learn to be a carpenter. Great. We will support you to do that and get you that qualification. However, there's much more of it than that. What you also can get is you could play sport within the college, a college team. You could also join our gym and keep fit. Um, we have the student union where you can learn to take responsibility and debate on behalf of other students and support them. Um, so there is much more than just coming for a course. And it's really important that you make the best when you come here. Um, don't just come and do a course, please. Um, great if you want to, 
I'm never going to say no. However, there's so much more potential or opportunities here for you to come. Um, excellent. So what we like to have is a culture of creativity, high expectations. So clearly, you know, I'm to pass that course ambition and aspirations. Not only do I want you to come and pass that course, but I want you to come and totally enjoy the experience and really use that experience to take you into the workplace so that when you go into the workplace, people will go, that's the sort of person I want. They were trained at Langley College and that's what we want you to achieve while you're with us. Um, obviously, we celebrate diversity inclusivity. That's a key to our success. And we are, it's really funny, you'll see how we mention integrity there. Trust is so at the heart of our college life. It's important that you trust us, put your, whether it's your child or you in our courses, and we best to be honest and open and support you all the way. And last but not least, but equally important, is respect. We show fairness, courtesy, and by that I mean really good manners. You will be treated with respect here. We don't have any poor behaviour. We welcome people who want to come here and learn. And through that, you gain everybody's mutual respect. So um, quite a lot for us to do, as you can see in my first slide. But it's really important. It's not just about the course. There's so much more for you to do. And we want you to read all of those things and benefit from all of those. OK, so why would you come to Langley College? Well, A, you get me as your director, so that's really good, if nothing else. Um, Hands-on active learning. I know it's a really, really difficult time currently. Um, obviously, we're going into lockdown and people are really worried. However, we still have to carry on. And it's so important for you to be able to come here. And when I mean hands-on, so, for example, if you were doing... I don't know, hair and beauty. You would be working in our salons with real clients, um, with other students. You know, you are, you're, you're going to be doing the work that you'll be doing when you go to industry. Um, and that point is reinforced, as you can see, by our industry recognised qualifications. So if, whether it's a hairdresser or a carpenter, I can assure you that the qualifications you receive once you're here will categorically help you when you go out into industry. Um, state of art facilities with industry standard equipment. Once again, you can see we're talking about how we're tied in our colleagues in industry. Um, our salons, for example, or whether it would be our kitchens or whether you're in our workshops, they're exactly like it is in the workplace. And that's what we want you to be able to do. So if you're in my motor vehicle workshop, for example, trust me, you'll be working with the same kind of stand equipment that you will be working with that you might work without, for example. OK, so ex exceptional teaching from our industry experts and extensive links with local employers. So what we like to do, so for example, if you are on our public services course, you know, we've got the Metropolitan Police or the local police force who would support us. And they also deliver on our programmes. So it isn't just us as a set of teachers writing what you can come and do here. We're saying that actually they're going to work with us and they're going to support you. OK, um, now you'll see at the next point I talk about work experience embedded into most courses. That's been really difficult in the current climate. However, we expect to bounce back and be offering that so that, you know, you want to try to be that motor mechanic. We will be at working our hardest to find an opportunity for you to make work at BMW or Jaguar or Aston Martin. Wherever it is, we need to make sure you're in those places and gaining the best that's available. Um, you'll see that we talk about a tailored student support. You'll remember mentioning earlier where I talked about an active student union, student opportunities. Those two things go hand in hand. It's really key that, of course, you come on the course and you learn how to do the role and the job, whatever it is. However, it's important that you see the wider picture to your course. Um, and why is that important? Because anybody can come on the course and cut hair. But it's the standards that you cut it at that make the difference. So the more challenge you've got, the more you stretch yourself, the better hairdresser you are, for example. And that's really important when you then need careers advice and guidance. 
and we will be there to support you through that. So um, I look forward A to you coming to Langley College, but B, there are a host of reasons there why you should come to us um, and gain your qualification. OK, next one. OK, so in 2019, um, we had. Oh, hello. I've got a funny noise. Um, in 20, I've got a ringing noise. It's gone now. There you go. Don't know what it's about. Um, so in 2019, excuse, Oscar, me, excuse me, Kevin, just to interrupt, that was your live chat. Perhaps you need to switch that off. Ah, right. OK, sorry about that. OK, I'll close now. Beg your pardon, everybody. I have somebody who's trying to ring me. OK, good. Right. So Ofsted inspection in 2019. Our college was graded good for its overall effectiveness. And you can see a picture there of a number of our colleagues, um, students, all celebrating that successful result. Why, though? Why are we good? Well, let me tell you that we have a calm and respectful learning environment where you can come and learn. You're safe. We've got comfortable, safe, warm environment for you to come and learn, and one that will embrace and give you some challenge. In addition to that, we have staff who've all worked previously in industry, so whether they previously worked in a VDAO, Sassoon hairdressing salon, or whether they worked in, you know, Audi, you know, doing that, or whether they worked in the film industry as a carpenter. We have a host of people who work in all those industries. Um, Behaviour in our lessons is very good, and learners feel safe. However, I always want everybody to be on time and punctual. It's really important, and that's something we're we'll always working on, for you to come and embrace every minute. If you're going to come 10 minutes late, you may miss the best tenants. So, you know, we really need you there. We need you, you know, ready to learn and engaged. And I promise you, we will support you as much as possible. And last but not least, our teachers and lecturers sequence and deliver the curriculum in a logical and well-planned way that takes you on a step, set of stepping stones that will get you to your qualification. Um, we understand that you have to learn before you, you know, you have to walk before you can run. And it's likewise in a course, we will support you as you go through. So, you know, it's a phased step up and it becomes more challenging as you go on. No different if you did your GCSEs or A levels. You know, we're there to support you at every step of the way. Okay, moving on. Okay, so course we offer. Now you can see how we have a large array of offers uh, and courses. Where do I start? So business, um, childcare, computing and IT. And they're all in front of you, construction. So within construction, for example, you have brickwork, carpentry, painting, multi-skills, um, electrical installation, plumbing. So there you can see. Engineering technology, so whether you wanted to be a mechanical engineer, a motor vehicle engineer, or a, an electric engineer. So you might think I was specialise in working in the mobile phone industry. There's an example where you could do that. Um, in addition, you've got hairdressing and beauty therapy. Um, so for example, hairdressing, that range you might want to be a barber. So you've that option. Likewise, if you want to do UT therapy, you want to be a therapist, but all within the same area. In addition to that, um, we have health and social care. Um, you can learn English through ESOL. We have maths and English, motor vehicle, as I mentioned earlier, public services, sport, travel and tourism, and apprenticeships. So I'm going to talk about apprenticeships in a minute. As you can see, that's an array of courses. Those courses can help you determine something different. So you might want to be in public services. Obviously you can, but it, there's a whole host of different careers within those industries um, that you can do. So I want to just sort of look at them more in depth so that you can see what you want to do. OK, my next slide, apprenticeships. Apprenticeships are work based training programs we combine classes at college, also whilst you're working in the workplace. So, for example, we have apprenticeships in business and accounting, computing, construction and all those subjects, as I mentioned to you before, engineering, hair and beauty and motor vehicle. Um, 
whilst Stuart Cummings an apprentice, you would come one day a week to college and then spend the rest of your time um, visiting or being at your workplace. What that means is you will, um, those four days you'll be working. So let's say you're in a hairdressing salon, you'll be working in that salon for four days and then you'll be coming to college where you get a combination of practical theory, whether you need support with English and maths, it would help you with that. And you'll be doing the two together. Mostly, this is one of the most successful routes for those who want to go into the workplace because you're already in it. And the advantage of that is, is that you're combining that work experience with your college learning. By the time you finish that apprenticeship, you're really, really well placed as an individual to progress on you know, within that works, but also in other workplaces because you're now a fully established, fully qualified young person. So we're really keen to see people taking this route. And it's a really tough time for young people at the moment. It's just difficult. However, this won't last forever. And it's really key that you're, you know, planning further ahead. So, you know, we welcome anybody trying to attend on an apprenticeship. We've got people who come on our full-time courses, but they move over to an apprenticeship, which is absolutely fine. We've got people who start an apprenticeship and sometimes it doesn't work and they come full-time course and go back to another apprenticeship. Doesn't matter. We're able to accommodate all of that. But the key thing is, is that you're gaining workplace experience and those practical skills whilst you're here, which is so, so helpful. So um, anybody signing up for that, we would obviously welcome you as well. Okay, access to higher education. So this tends to be for mostly our adults. Um, if you wanted to go to university or you wanted to return to study, we have lots of people who access this route through the college. And you can see we offer four different pathways there. Um, nursing and healthcare professionals, social work and healthcare professionals, social science, and of course science. So why would you want to do that? Well, the advantage of working through on any of those pathways enables you to go on to university and study um, for a degree. Um, you can get the qualification within a year. You're usually with likewise candidates who want to do the same as you. Um, and you'll find they're amazing course and really put you in a good place ready to go to university. So it's a, like a pre-university course in that basic and it allows you to get ready because once you're at university that's three four years for example and, and there's a lot of work involved in that and you'll be really well time management really good high time management skills you've got to get work done at, you know within tasks and our access courses put you in an ideal position great grounding for you to start those and commence them and then you are in the right place. Good. OK, now when I say about the advantages of where you can go, you can see where the opportunity is here. So, for example, local place, Bucks New University, the University of West London, uh, the University of West London, um, University of Red, as I said, and through Pearson. And you can see on right there, we offer higher education programmes across those. Um, effectively that do such great opportunities to work in different industries that you may not have thought before and you know if you think for example at Windsor you can come off you know put in performing arts and the benefit of that is then you can go on to those universities and then work within those industries you'll see at Langley the top three we have business early years education and social work which is prior to the one I mentioned earlier where you would study for those so we look forward to your um, applications and you applying through that okay now a study program what does that look like do you you think I know I would like to be a motor mechanic or I would like to be a hairdresser or actually travel and tourism is my thing what does that look like what you know when I get to college what's that course going to feel like. So the study programme that will be on, you're, you can see at the top that we mentioned the main qualifications. So you may, if you, for example, were doing travel and tourism, you may want to do a BTEC level one, level two within travel and tourism and you would gain. But in addition to whilst you're here, what we would offer you is support with your English, 
so you can get to a certain standard in English. And we would also offer maths, so we'd get you to a certain standard in that. That can be a combination of whether it's GCSE or functional skills. Um, you'll see there's a session there you might not know called Core Study. So we would, in that session, support you. Um, and that really help you. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute in terms of certain life skills that will support you, um, employability skills. So it might be something as simple as writing a CV that stands out from the crowd. And you'll say that's very similar, of course, to our work placement where you gain employability skills. Um, and if you remember, I mentioned that you know, earlier when I talked about a motor vehicle, you might, for example, spend two weeks at Audi. So that would give you those an understanding of what it's like in street. It's quite likely that very different times to the times you come to college. Um, so you'll get to see all the differences between work and then being in college. So if you, you'll just be right at the right point, ready to go into the workplace by then. OK, moving on. So you remember I mentioned their course study. Now that's delivered by our personal tutoring team. Um, we're very lucky to have a good cohort of personal tutors who are really supportive. They're very pastoral. Um, I can assure you that each one cares quite highly for all of our learners and are very supportive. Um, they'll help you succeed A, whilst you're at college and B, at work, but also outside that and in your life. They'll meet you on a one-to-one -one weekly. Um, they'll support you with your well-being in progress. And as you can see lower down, they can also help you with your life skills and, you know, ability skills. So you might say, I need to develop a much better CV. Um, can somebody help me? Um, and they would do that. Staying safe, of course, if you're going online and you can learn online or you're, you're looking work through that, they would ensure you were uh, you know, stay safe and, and things to avoid or ignore. And likewise, staying on track with your work. So if suddenly you were falling behind, you're struggling, they can provide support to help you. Um, and we will be there for that. OK, good. Moving on. So maths and English, what does that mean? So, of course, the government has a requirement that they want to get everybody to a certain level in maths and English. When you're here at the college, um, if you had a wanted support through that or needed to get to a certain standard, we would ensure that you were either put into a GCSE class or a functional skills class that will run whilst you're on your hairdressing course or your beauty course, for example. Parallel to that, you will have an English and maths class potentially. And so that will become part of your timetable. What's really important in that is your attendance because that will enable you to progress. So if you're for example, on a level one course in doing multi skills, um, you will really need those English and math skills to support you if you want to progress to level two or level three. So that's why it's really important your attendance and to support your pressure. We do provide you an initial assessment to see where you are. Um, you will be given at the start of the year your exam dates and potential when they are and support throughout. So, for example, currently we're offering a whole host of workshops. So, I don't know, let's say you're really struggling with trigonometry or, or commas and sentences. They are provided extra support classes to help you. You know, so that we've got online resources, we've got in-class resources, we've got teachers who can support you onto a one-to-one. -one. And likewise, if you remember back to the slide I just mentioned, you also have your personal tutors who will support you. So you've got all that options for support. The key thing here is to ask for it. Don't wait for it to come to you. You take the power yourself and say, right, I want to be better at this. How am I going to move? There's no better to improve you than you yourself. So please embrace the opportunity to take it on. Don't sit there waiting for your classes or waiting for support. Please, please ask. We're there to help. But you we need you to ask. OK, right. So work experience. Now, this has been really difficult in the current climate. However, when you are on a programme of study, we will ensure that you will be provided a work placement and these will be relevant to your chosen profession. So, for example, if you were on a traveller tourism course, 
I would not send to a hairdresser for a week. That would make no sense. However, what we would want to do is that you worked within the travel or hospitality industry. That's where we want you working. And um, we also want you to look for placements. So you might have a friend of your family who, I don't know, works in a builder's position, for example. So you think, right, could I go and work there for a week? Absolutely, we would welcome you joining us at any opportunity and bring those examples of work experience well, which is really important. Now you see lower down there, I mentioned about trips, guest speaks and projects. So what's really important for us? So let's say you're on I don't know, hairdressing courses. So for example, in the Excel every year, there's always an exhibition about, you know, and people cut these most magnificent haircuts and things you can get. You can get your hair curly and permed, all of that stuff. As you can see from my hair, I don't visit them that on. But we have guest speakers who come in and talk. There are projects which are related to industry. So again, it's back to my point there. If that's the sort of thing you want to be seeing or doing, please push us, please encourage us, and we're going to try and help you. And what we want through that and we'll have workplace coordinators who are going to support you through that. So those are the things we want you to see when you come on this course. So it's not come to college and come every Wednesday or every Monday to Wednesday and come in your class. What we want you to be able to do is see all of those different things within the course. So it's effectively like the ingredients of a cake. You need all of those ingredients to make sure you like the cake. So please, please taste it all. OK. So my next one. Oh, hello. Work. That's the problem with online. It doesn't. There you go. It sometimes doesn't work. Anyway, OK, so support. You see down there um, a host of varying support that we offer. Obviously, whilst on your course, we obviously provide support through tutorials. Um, you'll see I've put learning support there. So you might have, oh, I don't know. You might be dyslexic, for example. How, how am I going to get help with that? Well, we have a team of individuals who will support you in your class. Might You might need help in an exam, might need someone to read something. Whatever it is, we have a whole host of people willing to support you. And if you remember back to the part about you're at the heart of what we're doing, that's why it's really key for us to support you. You'll see in addition, we offer wellbeing, careers advice and other workshops. So that's what I was talking about college life. It isn't just to come and do your course. There's all that other stuff behind to support you. Um, and that's why it's really important for you to access as much of that work as possible. Um, you know, you might think, right, where am I? Where am I going to go now? I've got my qualification. Who's going to help me? And that's why that careers advice is really, really important for you to access. Um, so if you remember again, back to my original point, it's you that's got to drive that responsibility and drive it because my colleagues will help, but it never does any harm for you to be driving it too. OK, so this ties me perfectly now to my expectations and our college expectations, which go hand in hand. Now you see at the top of that slide, we took we got the figure of 100 percent. Now that's not there by accident. Um, we really expect you to be here for 100% attendance and punctuality. Why is that important? Well, A, you'll know if you're going to work, that's exactly the sort of things they're looking for. Um, they don't want someone who only wants to come certain days or I'm not sure about getting in at eight o'clock in the morning. So it's really important for you to be on time and be punctual. Also, it's exceptionally good manners to be on time because imagine if you were waiting for me and I didn't arrive on time and you were waiting at a station or wherever, you'd be really upset that you'd chosen to get there on time and I hadn't. So I, this is one of my real passions about attendance and punctuality. Of course you can be late. Of course a bus can run late. Of course you can sleep in one morning. We understand that. But overall, I'm looking for people who want to come um, attend 100% where possible. Now you see I've mentioned dress code there. Um, we don't effectively have a dress code in terms of what you must wear all the time, but we welcome, um, in some of our courses you'll have a uniform, so of course if you were in hair and beauty, 
they all have a uniform, whether you're in uh, public services, they all have a uniform. If you come to construction and engineering, you'll see now we will all be uniform. So, you know, just like you will at work. So that's what I mean by a dress code. And you'll see that along with that, we expect people to behave in a professional manner like the qualification they're doing. So that's inside the classroom. You know, if you're in your English class or you're with your personal tutor or you're in the workshop, but also when you're outside the college, what we want are people who are willing to look at your act like sorry, ambassadors for Langley College because we have a really high expectation um, because we want you to do really, really well. So that's why it's so important um, for you to, you know, your behaviour. And you'll see there, we talk about wearing lanyards. I have my lanyard on here myself. That's so people know who I am and they know that it's correct for me to be in the building and it's safe. Um, we obviously want you to respect the college environment. Likewise, you with your own home, developing employability skills and being ready to learn. So being ready to learn, what does that mean? Well, A, you've got to want to do the course and be ready to start. But also that's coming paired and willing to say, I don't understand that. Can you help me? That's I'm here on time. I'm ready to learn. So there's a whole host of different things that that can mean. But if you want to come and learn, you are coming to the right place in Langley College. OK, good. So key people. So you see, I've put director up there. That's how key I am. Um, I'm some put, kindly put me at the top, which is very kind. Of um, we're overall trying to support you and want you to do well within your college uh, whilst you're at the college. You'll see I've got a host of people there. Whether well, it's the head of department for hair and beauty, whether it's the teachers in public services, whether it's my personal tutors, um, additional learning support, workplace coordinators. I've got a student services team and a learner support teams. We all work effectively as a team to support everybody to get through this. Um, you might come and think, I don't need help. That's absolutely fine. You might come and not meet me. Absolutely fine. You might think any people I want to see are my teachers and my personal tutor. If that's it for you, that works for me. We just want you to make sure you, you know that there are a host of people available to support you and they're there for you and to support you on your course. OK, moving on. So college life, you remember earlier I mentioned it's not just about coming to do the qualification, it's being that all rounded person and the different things you can do. So now you can begin to see <coughs> from this list the things I've talked about. So obviously we have a college gym and those two young people to the right look like they've just left it. Um, all that is all our students can access the gym you can uh, gain a membership from that. It's um, seriously reduced so that you, you know, people can afford it. Um, so please take an opportunity to access that. And we have a cross colleges activity, so like a freshers fair. So if you're thinking of going to university or somewhere, we support you through that. Um, you can set up a club or society. In addition, we have sports activities. You remember I mentioned about being ambassadors for Langley College. You can obviously become a student ambassador. We have student conferences. We also have the student union. So you may not know this now, but you might be the, pre the future president of our student union. If you were to join that, clearly you can come and do so. Um, the salon, that's clearly where you can get your hair cut. So we have lots of students accessing that. Um, I might need to access it myself, um, but you can go there and clearly, you know, they do a range of things. I think you can get your nails done, for example. So there's a whole host of things you can access. And also we've got tutor apps who support um, courses and we're quite keen for you to work with all those um, throughout. OK, moving on. Oh, hello, I moved too fast. OK, so guaranteed applicant status. What does that mean? OK, so if you attend any one of those schools below, there's a good 30 of them at least. Um, whether you attend Bayes Court or Langley Academy or Wizard Boys and Girls, we guarantee you that we will prioritise your application and guarantee you 
an interview as soon as possible. Now, in the current climate, that course may be online. What you'll get is a conditional play, because obviously we want to meet you. And likewise, I'm sure you want to meet us, um, but you can apply online through that. Um, and if you're not one of those schools, you're probably thinking, is he going to talk about me? Well, yes, I am, because if you're from another school or out of the area and you want to come, of course, we welcome your application. Um, what we want are young people who want to come here and learn and make a difference. And I don't want you or anybody to put an obstacle in that way. So that's obviously why we offer that guaranteed applicant status. So please take the opportunity, apply. It gives you the chance a, to do an online application. But B, you will also be invited to come and see us after. And then that's your chance to see how Langley College will fit for you and how you can come here and learn and then you'll know you're in the right place. So um, please, please, if you've got a chance after this, you'll get to chat to my colleague later. Um, we want you to apply online definitely um, and welcome that. And when better than now, you can do it immediately after this evening and then you'll hear from our mission team in due course. And I believe my colleague it's going to talk at 5.45 about that, so you can zone back in and, and listen to him and he'll talk to you about that process. It's very streamlined. Um, I'm sure you'll find it very easy to follow. We've done it last year, for example. Um, so we welcome your application. So uh, apply away, please. OK, um, what does that look like? So from that application, you'll then be offered an interview. Um, through that interview, you get an offer. Um, normally that offer is conditional and what I mean by that is it doesn't mean we're saying no or saying this. What we're saying is yes we would like you to come but we also want to meet you and think of all the other things that we might need to offer you. So sometimes when you meet someone online or you speak to them on their own <coughs> you just can't get all the information. So what will happen is although you will get acceptance we will then invite you to enrolment and that's where we'll get to meet you and say, look, actually, Kevin, really not. I'm not my best at English. I really want to be a hairdresser, but I think I need extra skills in English or maths, for example. And that's where we're able to bespoke a course for you and you know, write something that matches for you there and then. So um, you know, please, please apply. You will go through that process. It is, as I said, streamlined. And in the end, you get to meet us. And then obviously you can see at point six, join us. So hopefully I look forward to seeing many of you in August stroke September, um, whereby hopefully we're in a very different world and um, we'll be able to uh, see you on a regular and daily basis. OK, um, this is where you get to ask any questions. And if you remember earlier, I mentioned my colleague um, Fiona, who's in the background there supporting me. So um, I believe if you've any questions, she's going to speak now. Is that right, Fiona? That's great. Yes, please. If everybody, okay. anybody's got any questions, please just post them in the chat box. Um, and I can answer. I'll try yeah. my best anyway. We've had a few coming through anyway during the presentation, Kevin. So okay, good. That, thanks very much. Um, somebody was specifically asking about childcare courses. I've given them the link to the courses um, on the website, but I didn't know if you perhaps could give a bit of information about the childcare courses. Yeah, we offer um, childcare courses from level one to level three. Um, I've got two of my colleagues that I know very well called Claire and Rebecca who teach in it. Um, what's really lucky if you apply for a childcare course, they're both excellent teachers, be supportive. Um, I've seen some of their sessions. Um, we've got really high attendance in those areas and obviously, you know, many of those young people will become qualified and work through to industry. I think it's a city and gifts course, but don't hold me to it. Um, but the other thing you may not have considered and maybe not for now, but in the next few weeks, is, you know, you know, once lockdown's passed, you're always welcome to come visit the college and meet those tutors. So we'll have open events as we go through the year and you know there's your chance to come and talk about it but please anybody else to do childcare we would absolutely welcome your application and I think you'll see later between 4 13 7 there's the live chat with some of the heads um I believe the head of 
um, childcare for the year is available. So if you wanted to ask any more questions, um, and maybe there is actually my colleague Claire is on it today, so you could ask her more questions. She could tell you a whole lot more than childcare than I could. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, I, I was going. I was going to say the same. Jump onto the live chat, and I'll head to the Okay, thank there. you. That you just need to go to the homepage of the website, and there's a little red circle in the bottom corner of the website, and just click on there, and then you can talk to our heads of department who are all ready to answer any questions. Um, I've got a few more questions for you, though, right. specifically yeah, from please. our audience today. Um, okay. It, what what happens if you don't get the grades in your GCSEs, particularly okay. English and maths? Can you retake them? Yes. Um, if you don't get the grades, that isn't a reason for you not to come to college first. So please don't think, oh, I didn't get my GCSE in maths. That's it. No, it isn't. Um, you can come here and retake them. So we would support you do that. So let's say, for example, oh, I don't know. So bear with me. Let's say you wanted to be an electrician and you wanted to, you needed a GSE grade five in, uh, in maths and English. Let's say you got a grade three. We would support you once you arrived um, to gain that math. So if you remember when I talked about the study program, it's a whole wraparound. So you have support from a maths tutor. Obviously, your lecturer in electrical will be encouraging you to attend to gain that because you're going to need that qualification, particularly as you proceed to level two and three, for example. Um, but yeah, we would absolutely help you um, if you didn't get that qualification. The key thing is, if you don't get it, OK, I wish you did. However, you didn't. We've got a solution to try and back you up. So it's not all over at that point. Of course it is. Um, we to us. We will find a route for you through that so that you can get back on track and we'll support you. Um, and obviously, if you remember back to that study programme, you have the options of English and maths. And likewise, you'll also have a personal tutor whilst you're on that programme. Now, I'm not saying they're English or maths experts, but they will support you also. So we have lots of people who come here and then with by November sat their GCSE or a functional schools in maths, for example, pass that, they're on the course, so they're fine. So it does happen quite regularly. On uh, Just on that same um, subject, Kevin, um, mm -hmm. somebody's asking about the that particularly around the multi-trade course. Yes. Um, so they still need to get the GCC in maths or is that part of the course? That's part of the course. So if you don't have a GCC, so there's varying levels of multi trace. If you don't have those GCSEs, that's clearly not an issue. So please don't worry about that. And we've got people who've come on the course and have gone either, you know, maths or English and GCSE, but we're supporting them with functional skills and functional maths, um, maths in maths and English. So absolutely, there's, um, we will find an option for you if you want to come and study, I promise you. Thank you. Somebody's asking about diversity. I know you talked about it earlier, but um, mm -hmm. is, is the college diverse? Well, I think I know the answer oh, right. is yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and abundantly so. Um, we get people, whether you're work here or you study here or whether you pass through and drop people off I mean we're we're in an eclectic place in Langley and we're rich with the host of different people who come here um it we're not I know like I say diversity is but it's not important to us how tall small you know which which ethnicity you are which, that's immaterial I can assure you that you are welcome here. What our aim is to help you learn. It's that simple. So if you want to learn, this is the best for you. Um, we, you know, of course, we embed or support people who may have issues around ethnicity or diversity. Because sometimes that can impact you from learning. But I rest assured um, you're going to come to a rich, eclectic place that is so diverse already, um, you would only add to that rich mixture if you can. Thanks, Kevin. Um, could you give a little bit more information again about the personal tutors? Yes, yeah, so our personal tutors, so you would see um, normally up to about one hour a week within your study program. Um, I can think of two offhand really quickly. So we've got Andrew and Hazel who work with me mostly in my areas. So 
What's brilliant about both of them is, is that they're really pastoral. And so, you know, they care greatly for our young people. And what that happens is, you know, in our ability to try and help everybody learn or study, sometimes we just miss people. We don't always capture everybody or you just haven't heard them. And the great thing about our personal tutors is they always seem to grab them all up and make sure we don't let anybody slip through that net. Um, they are with you an hour a week. They do a host of subjects. So, as I said, it might be, you know, hey, could you help me write my CV? Yes, will be the answer. By the way, I'm not very good at my maths homework. Can you help me on that? You know, their skill set is so wide, but willing to help. So um, I, it would be fair for me to say that I'm spoiled, um, as is the college, by having our personal tutors who do those roles. Um, you know, you mentioned uh, there, I'm going to go Fiona, somebody said, you know, what about diversity? So, you know, we've got workshops on diversity, um, you know, and the challenges around that currently. Um, and, and, you know, our personal tutors lead on that. And, you know, so they are, they're like a, effectively a jack of all trades. And they, they are like our glue that keeps everybody sticking together and keeps them working. They're, they're a really, you know, there's much more than obviously Hazel and um, uh, Andrea, but they, they, we're very fortunate to have those people to support us. And rest assured, whatever your issue is or whatever concern you have or a worry, whatever it is, I promise you they will find you a route out of that issue. And depending on what it is, of course, um, they will be there to help. Thanks, okay. Kevin. Sorry, I'm just I'm tapping right. away well, answering questions as well. That's um, fine. So, somebody was interested in going on to midwifery after they've done wow. health and social care. They did mention an apprenticeship in midwifery, but I'm not sure that exists. Um, yeah. To my knowledge, I don't know that it exists, Fiona. Um, I would in the um, chat, live chat with the heads of department later. Um, as I said, my colleague Claire is in there. She would be the best person to ask. Um, I just don't know. So I'm sorry, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I think it's probably more likely a degree level course, but if you do the level yes, three, you, sure can, you can progress. <coughs> but, um, yeah. but it would be good for, to jump onto the live chat and speak to Claire, that would be Claire, great. Yes. I, okay, I, we're nearly... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I was only going to say I believe you're absolutely right that it is that level of course and you're right if you accessed our access program, can you believe I've just said access our access program, um, if you did that um, and you met Claire or any of the team who work on that, there are a host of people who work in that area and um, they would support you and we're very lucky, we have a really high success rate in our access courses so um, yeah I'm sure they can help. There, there are a couple of people asking about courses that I think are offered in our other colleges. So okay. like, is that at like, Strauss and Windsor? Yeah, history, okay. art, ger you know, German languages. Um, perhaps you could explain a bit about how how, um, how that works. We're, yes, so, how we're all linked. Yes, so, um, effectively, we're like the brother, and there are two sister colleges, for the better words. Um, so we've got a college at Strode and a college at Windsor. Um, most people who go there tend to, yes, go there for their GCSEs or A-levels. Um, you're absolutely right. If you wanted to study history or art, I can assure you those are the places you can attend. Um, I think they have a, a similar curriculum, but there are differences between them. Um, I, I, if you looked in our website, it would specify the individual things there are. So, for example, we might have drama at one, but not at the other. So I think the best thing for, I would recommend someone to do is, is to check out our website. <coughs> you know, you might want to learn Spanish, for example. Well, Langley is not, unfortunately, is not the place for you to learn Spanish. However, it, it may be at Strode's Windsor. So um, I can't tell you that they've got a live chat or not. Um, but yeah, you could clearly access our website and see that. And, you know, you can inquire, same as if you were inquiring to Langley, same route, you know, send in an application and an admission would deal with that, definitely. 
Um, also, I'll just uh, agree with you completely, Kevin. Have a look at the website. There's all the courses on um, each of the colleges are there. But also, I'll post onto the chat um, the admissions email and the admissions okay. the admissions <clears throat> telephone number. Um, and yeah. you, if you need advice, you can always give those guys a ring. They're on hand to help you. Also, I leave Dowjit, who's the head of our admins, is talking today at 5:45, um, which is in 25 minutes. So he might be able to help. Yes, that's right. Definitely. Yeah, thank you. Okay, there's just a last shout. We're nearly coming to that's the fine. end of our session. So I know. I, I didn't realise I had the whole hour. What's going okay. on? Thank you for enduring me. <laughs> um, I'm just putting a last shout out um, for any more questions um, from Kevin. Uh, but if not, as we've already said, there is um, all of our tutors are on the live chat at the moment. Mm -hmm. So if you want to talk about particular subjects and particular courses, then the experts are on hand to talk to you live. Um, I've just put a slide up, I'm trying to put a slide up, which isn't really working. Um, there we go. There you go. Um, can you see that slide now? It highlights that bit on the yeah. screen. Um, and, and I'm also going to post uh, the link to the how to apply session with Dowjit. If you haven't Excellent. already got that from your emails earlier, I'll post it in the live chat here so you can just click through and join that at, at 5.45. 15 minute break to be able to go and uh, make a cup of tea. Make a cup of tea um, and go and catch up. OK, thanks, Kevin. Um, that looks all. like Thank you. that's the end of the questions that have come through today. Thanks, Thanks. everybody for joining us. Um, yeah, keep, keep an eye on the live Q&A for all the links and the telephone numbers. Um, and I'll just leave Kevin to sign off. OK, everybody, um, thank you for taking joint time to join my workshop. Please, as Fiona's saying, you know, if you can access the session from our head of admissions or the live chat with the head of department or we've got some staff, you'll remember I mentioned Claire is there, for example, please join them. Um, and then you'll see there's, I think also my other colleague, Claire is, is so we've got two Claire's today, um, is supporting some of those questions. So if you want a live chat, and um, they're all set up, I believe. They've been set since 4.30. Any questions you want to ask, um, please do so. And, and last thing I'll leave with you is, um, if you want to come, you have chosen the right place to start, please follow that through with an application. And we look forward to meeting you in course. And I particularly look forward to seeing you all in September. I hope you all have a good evening and a safe evening. And I look forward to speaking to you all soon. Bye-bye.